Hello, hello, hello. Good morning. Hello, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. We talked the whole night through. Good morning. Good morning to you. Today is a morning that I truly have stayed up all night and I went to bed at 5 30 I think and it's because I was reading a book and it's a wonderful book and you know one more chapter just one more chapter just one more chapter next thing you know it's 5 30 in the morning <laughs> so how is your morning hi vibe space and Eric Thomas welcome 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 and to whoever is watching on Facebook, I need you to comment so I know who you are so I can say good morning or good afternoon, whatever, whatever. And uh, it is Friday. Can you believe it? It's already March 10th, Friday, March 10th. How is that even possible? I know, I know. I'm always talking about it. It just amazes me how time really flies. And... Uh, and just yesterday it was February and now we're March 10. Anyway, I have a um, tarot for us today. I have the uh, Rider Wise Smith, but the black one, the reverse one. Uh, what is it called? I don't even know what is it called. I just call it the black one. It doesn't have a name. Since the Writers My White Smith is public domain now, they have come up with all kinds of different versions, and I love this um, black and white one. It reminds me of negatives from old photos. Remember old photo negatives? That's what this reminds me of. That's kind of the idea, I think. I don't know. Anywho, Tarot for the Weekend. Tarot for the weekend, tarot for the weekend. Let's see what is in there for us. All right. I'm pulling two cards for the weekend. And we have, ooh, I love these cards. Love, love, love them. Hi, Silverlet and 11 Catchy. The first card that we have is the Eight of Swords. I'm like, the Eight of what? The Eight of Swords. I'm sleepy. The Eight of Swords. And this is a card that talks about feeling trapped, feeling kind of like anxious or obsessed ruminating your thoughts and ideas and the card is reverse hi Gabby so the card is talking about uh, freeing your mind like the Sun free your mind the rest will follow this is kind of it you know free your mind not allowing your thoughts to keep you hostage not allowing uh, negativity, whereas in catastro catastrophic thoughts uh, hold you back. This is actually you looking at facts and freeing yourself. So that is a pretty cool card to have for the weekend, if you ask me. I think we all need a weekend where we can be free and think free and not being um, trapped by our own thoughts. And then the next card, it, it can't get better than this. Well, it could, it could be the Empress, <laughs> but it's not the Empress. It's the Queen of Pentacles. And the Queen of Pentacles is talking to us about a sense of security a sense of grounding to be right here right now and to kind of like again focus on facts 
and focus on what is right below our feet to be very grounded. And of course, it's a card of money and prosperity and good fortune. So me thinks, me thinks that these two are very well connected, acting as a team where we get out of our mind, when we get out of our limited um, thoughts, you know, self-sabotaging our ideas, we're free. We're free. And once we're free, everything and anything that we desire materializes. And or for those who like to see this card on a more um, literal way, it is about money. It is about um, good business. It is about making good business decisions. It is about uh, making it rain, baby. Silverlight says, thank you. I needed to hear this. It resonates with me. Thank you. And believe it or not, it resonates with me a lot as well. Because, you know, sometimes I tend to be a little bit on the anxious side. Always worrying about the business and always worrying about uh, where the next penny is going to come from. But she's coming to reassure us that we're going to be okay. And also, I'm not a medic. I'm not a doctor. But for a lot of people, this card also represents good health. So if you have been struggling, if you have been thinking about or feeling certain kind of way physically, um, this card is also telling us that we are going to be okay, that we are recovering that um, health vibe or whatever. So anyway, I got to let you know, uh, Sunday, Sunday, we have two events. The first one is, uh, spring cleansing, spring cleansing, the class that will happen the workshop. I'm sorry. That will happen at the Pilsen community arts center at noon. And you will learn about spring cleansing and you will create your own, um, cleansing spritz. So that is going to be on the 12th and on the 12th as well, but at 7 p.m. Central Time, we will have uh, the Cleansing Spells class. The Cleansing Spells class is part of the spell classes that I've been doing and will continue to do all of 2023. And each month is a different kind of spell. So we have done candle spells for January. And we did love spells for February. And those are the recordings are available for purchase on demand. And then on Sunday, we will have the third installment. That is the cleansing spells. And you can, you can take those classes a la carte, or you can join the whole course. It's up to you. But uh, the third one will happen live, obviously on Sunday at 7 PM, by the way, don't forget that we spring forward this weekend, that the clocks change here in the United States and that we are going forward. All right, let's see what this Oracle card has for us. Be impeccable with your word, become a white magician. I will take the white part of the phrase, but I, this is not my oracle. I didn't create it. So, um, I'm just going to modify a little bit when I read, but it means a positive magician or, a um, working for change magician or working for positive outcomes magician. Uh, it is incredible racist to say that magic is black or white, but that's a story for another day. So all the magic you possess is based on your word and you cast spells all the time with your opinions. You can either put a spell on someone with your word or you can release someone from a spell. Especially fitting for those of us who heal, share our medicine through our word. Hello, Tara with Monica. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And so 
the agreement is be impeccable with your word, become a positive outcome magician, if you will. And the message reads, all the magic you possess is based on your word and your and you cast spells all the time with your opinions. Can't read. Okay, let me try again. All the magic you possess is based on your word and you cast spells all the time with your opinions. You can either put a spell on someone with your word or you can release someone from a spell. You know what resonates with me right now? The releasing of someone because that's what this card is about when it's reversed is releasing someone, liberating someone. What if we use on our own words to release ourselves from our own limitations? Boom. And then we get into the vibration of abundance and prosperity. Uh, quite literally materializing our desires. I hate to use the word manifesting. But uh, materializing or co-creating with the divine. Co-creating our outcome and doing our things. By the way, that last card was from the Four Agreements Oracle by Don Miguel Ruiz. And thank you, Gabby. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Gabby. I know it's, it's a pretty cool reading. And uh, I'd like to thank every single one of you. I have a whole bunch of events happening in the month of March, the second weekend. So this was my last weekend that I have for myself and starting uh, tomorrow, starting Sunday, I'm busy, busy, busy. So if you are here on Insta, go to my bio, click on the link tree, and then you will see all the events there. They are set up chronologically and you can join me. And if you are here on the Book of Faces, go to the first comment and see the one that says updates click on the one that says updates and you'll see excuse me everything that is going on all right folks we went over the 10 minutes as per usual so thank you all for watching and until we meet again you are loved bye bye